Hey guys, it's Firefly Carry, and I am finally back recording. Uh, well, as you can see in the background, I am still unpacking and doing a bunch of stuff in here. But now you all get the chance to see my new place. So, right now, I am going to go over my draft for the CCL. And as you can see down below, that is all of our mods for this CCL. So let's get started. Let's get the showdown open. Alright, first off, we got Chansey. Now, the reason I chose Chansey as this OU draft pick is mostly because look at its HP. Get it all the way up, get its special uh, defense up, and then put the rest in attack. Then we can do a calm nature. Bam! Look at those lovely defenses. Now, as uh, you know, as you all know, Chansey has these three abilities. We can do Serene Grace, or Natural Cure, or Healer. So, I'm not sure if... Uh, I, I'd say we will probably run some kind of Natural Cure, but like I said, we would have to figure that out as the time comes. You know, we could either do Assault Vest, we could do... Well, I wouldn't do Assault Vest. We'd probably run leftovers on it. But its move pool is freaking amazing. Of course, we would want to do like a heal bell. We'd probably want to run like a soft bolt set. Uh, and then all these, we'd probably get hyper voice on it to be stabbed. Um, and since special attack isn't all that anyway. And we could run a shadow ball, we could run rock, we could run rocks, we can run substitutes. You know, we got all of these, so. Uh, so we got all, all of that. Now, moving on to Jirachi. Of course, we're going to have Serene Grace. And with Serene Grace, uh, you know, there's plenty of different items that we can have little Jirachi here hold. But mostly, we're probably going to be running Iron Head, because it's Stab. We're going to run Zen Headbutt. You know, we can run all kinds of different moves for it. It gets play rough through an event. So, ouch. <laughs> uh, you know, we might run Doom Desire just to play. And, but mostly it's U turn. And this is the recommended specs for it. I'm not sure if that's the specs that we would run, but Jirachi is a good Pokemon overall. Um, if you all remember in the assistant coach video, uh, you all know I got sniped about 24 times, roughly. Either way, let's get back to it. Rotom Heat was one of our other Pokemon. Now, Rotom Heat is pretty good. As you see that we got the Levit... Of course, we have the Levitate ability. So, we would probably want to run... Uh, might want to run a Citrus on it. Get some HP back. And, of course, we would want, like, Willow... We'd want Will-O-Wisp. 
another thing that we could have is, of course, we'll have volt switch and overheat. However, for like the fourth slot, we can have a dark pulse. We could have um, toxic, but we already have Willow with, so we wouldn't want to do that. Uh, we could be that person run Fuse Ray on on our opponents. Uh, we could, you know, there there's a lot of different. We could run a trick. We could run a trick set and have it. We could have it choice scarf and trick it. So, I mean, there's that. Of course, it'd be a timid nature. Or we could just have a, you know, a scarfed road of heat. Now on to our, one of our favorite water types, well one of my favorite water types, is Vaporeon. I always run, I normally run mine, uh, I think I run, normally run it bold, to give it that extra boost in attack, I mean defense, and then you'd want it to HP up, and Actually, no. I would normally run it like this. But this gives us a little extra in uh, defenses as well as look at that HP. It's, you know, 464, 370, boom. And normally Vaporeon is holding lefties for me because. What normally happens with Vaporeon is you have you have Wish, Toxic, I always run Scald, and Ice Beam. That is normally my standard set. That is normally my standard set. <coughs> Excuse me. But that is, that, that's normally like my standard set, but we're probably going to end up swapping it up. And of course we're going to run Water Absorb. Switch it in on a Pokemon. It's over. Slurpuff. Now Slurpuff I normally have a Shiny because it's so cute. But of course we're going to have the Unburden. We're going to have a Citrus. Very on. Now, with that unburden, you can have, uh, like, if you look at its stats right here, even though its special attack is still higher than its, uh, regular attack, it, it doesn't get Moonblast, I don't think. Let me double check that. Yeah, it don't get Moonblast. So, its strongest one is Dazzling Blink. I don't deal with that. No. So, we would want to run Play Rough. This is good Play Rough Pokemon. And then, Belly Drum. We would want... We could easily have... Have it have... Uh, we could have facade if we wanted, but it also gets drain punch, so it's that's kind of that's coverage for us. Um, we could, you know, there we could run, uh, you know, toxic on it, and it's a fast physical sweep. Now, Bayonet, yes, we have Mega Bayonet, but we could also use regular Bayonet. That is why I have Bayonet on here, because we could run a Frisk one, find out what the other opponent's got. We are going to 
have this all the way up. We're gonna get this attack going up as high as we can. And then we want we want to give it plenty in that and then we're gonna give two and two. And we are not gonna make it speedy by any means. But we're gonna make it adamant. It's gonna hit hard and it's gonna hit like a truck. So we're going to have uh, C just uh, just to play around. Why not have it foul play? Cause bayonet here is a ghost type, so. There's not many ghost there's not many ghost type moves, but there is a shadow claw which has a high crit ratio. <clears throat> uh we could have mm -hmm. we could do sucker punch on it. Instead of foul play we could have sucker punch. Go away. Uh we would probably want to have like um wait this thing gets huh we could run a hip but <laughs> but I wouldn't want to do that see I might could run, I run pain split and we could run gunk shot. That would be like a regular bayonet. However, let's move on to the new Bark Nine Tails 2. So we have the Mega Bayonet with its lovely, lovely prankster ability. And with Prankster, you can run Pain Split because it's technically a status move. And then we could run Willow. And we could run that Shadow Claw for Stab. And Knock Off. And that would probably be about the set that I would run. Um, unless my assistant coach has other uh, ideas for us. So, let's see. Let's go on into Amoongus. Now, <sighs> Amoongus I originally did not really want, to be perfectly honest. But, I picked it up. It's a decent, it's a really decent uh, poison type. And we probably want to run clear smog in case someone's trying to set up. We could run sludge bomb, giga drain, to get some of that HP back, and then spore. And that, that's probably about it. Um, like I said, none of this is official because my assistant coach, Mr. AGZ, probably has a bunch of different sets. So. Next we go on to Flygon. Now, the reason I drafted this Pokemon was mostly to destroy uh, another person's draft. Not really. Um, I actually wanted the Dragon type, and this was really the only one that was left. Um, because I was going to go for Dragonite, but someone else got it. I wonder who that could have been. But, with Flag on here, we've got an Earthquaker. So we're definitely going to have Earthquake. And, we want... 
a good good stab dragon move so what we would want to do here is look at hmm we could run dragon tail and force people to switch out but we have a defogger in flag on here so we definitely want to have defog on it and we would want either dragon claw and we could run we could run home claws or we could run rock slide or stone edge uh, superpower but you know once you get a move off you might want to run either crunch you know there, there there's fire punch but you know we got power up punch. oh wait instead of that we could run outrage so I would say we might run Stone Edge or maybe just U turn. Yeah, we could run U turn. And that would be that. Like I said, I, I don't know if these are like the exact sets that I would use. Cryogonal. I wanted the Ice type. And honestly, I've never used a Cryogonal before, but this is a Levitate user. So, it, 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 it's protected from most ground type moves. So, first and foremost, we ain't running an explosion. Sorry guys. No, ain't gonna happen. However, we, it's a special attacker if you look. So, we could run freeze dry, which is super, which is actually super effective on water. Uh, we could run uh, flash cannon as coverage. Uh, we could, you know, the hidden powers, of course, but it's also got signal beam. and substitute you know and there's a fast because look at look at its thing right here 339 it's it's got a decent speed so but crowdle i wanted to definitely try to use because i i don't see it a lot and like a lot of matches or anything so I wanted to try to use it now we got our water grass we got a mr. Luticolo. Luticolo of course we would probably want to set up the rain so rain dance to activate our swift swim ability we have energy ball we have Skull, and then we could run uh, this thing gets thunder punch hello <laughs> I mean thunder punch wouldn't be bad wouldn't be very good but wouldn't be bad but of course this is like a standard Ludicolo set And uh, Ludicolo is one of those Pokemon that everybody gets frustrated over because of its water grass typing. It's got Home Temple, but I don't see a reason to use it. And plus, its shiny is so so neat. There's Krogmals. We might run a shiny Krog because that looks scary. 
yeah. That, that's, yeah. Alright. Now we got Mr. Archeops. He is going to be our flying type. And of course its only move is this, or its only ability is this. While this Pokemon has half or less of its max HP, <coughs> you know, <coughs> its attack and special attack are halved. So we would want to have Roost is one of the major things that we would want to have. And since it could be it could be a mixed attacker. The biggest thing is to look and see what what good flying moves it gets. So there's acrobatics. Um there's aerial ice. There oh we want to run a knock off on it. But it's it's typing is rock flying. So we want a good stab move on it. We'd want to run Stone Edge. But as you all could see there's not much <clears throat> there's not much that is you know we could run a bounce set but you know instead of knockoff we could r always run tailwind as well so I mean this ain't or for sure set this is just something come off with just to show you all what some of these mods can do but a lot of these mods, like I said, were not my first pick. And now we are down to the final two of the new Bark Ninetales' uh, draft pick. Which is going to be Flareon and Whiskash. So, Flareon, of course we're going to have the Guts boosted Flareon. Toxic Orb. Boom. Now. With this, I would want to run a. I would want to run a facade, first and foremost. Uh, I would want to have probably flare blitz. Then, you know, we could run either superpower, return. We can, you know, be that person run dig Flareon. We could run. We could run a yawn. <laughs> Just to be that person. Actually, no, we would. So. I mean, we could run superpower. Yeah, you know, there there is a lot of different ones that we could we could have for Flareon. Um, I mean, Dig is okay, but where where it would be too easy for someone to come in earthquake um you know Flareon would be gone but with guts at least it's attack is boosted so now on to Whizcash you're probably wondering why in the world I picked up Whizcash well it's a water ground so it's only real weakness is grass and there is Oblivious. There is uh, you know, Anticipation, which tells me if they have a super effective move. 
and there's hydration. So we set up the rain, have hydration, you know, I don't know, have something on it. But if you look at its stats, its attack and special attack are almost the same. They're off by two. So, you know, not too big. But, you know, if we want a special attacker, we could do it. But we could also have this physical attacker have her dragon dance. You know, that, that's just one thing, is dragon dance. It gets earthquake. There's, uh, I don't know, you could run Aqua Tail on it. Or better yet, Waterfall. Run Waterfall on it. Boom. And then we could be that person and run uh, Zen Headbutt. Or we could be that person and run Amnesia. And so, I mean, our team isn't bad. I, I'll actually look forward to using a lot of these mods because I haven't used them before. So, I think, I think it's going to be very interesting. And don't forget that most of these Pokemon might not, some of these Pokemon, at least three, might not be with us um, around the mid-season. Because we get to do a, um, there's going to be a draft, well, a trading thing going to go down. But, you all see what our Pokemon are. Tell me if you all have different ideas for the sets. You know, if you all want to give ideas and stuff. Me and Mr. AGZ just might take you all up on what you all suggest. But I am sorry for the lack of videos. More videos will be coming. I'm planning on bulk recording. I'm planning on getting everything settled in this weekend. This is going up today, Friday the 21st. Monday. We will bring back Ocarina, uh, not Ocarina Time, but Majora's Mask. And then the next day, we'll have Pokemon Shattered Dreams back. So, all of our LPs should be back on schedule next week. So, remember guys, to be good, stay safe, but always have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.